Afridi in much earlier than he would have wished. Again, outside the line is my call. But Afridi never picked that one either. Let's wait for the signal. They're asking for it. There was no signal from the umpire, so maybe he thought Afridi did get an icon to that one. Now we're soon going to see. It is all happening here in Sharjah on a Sunday. This will be fine. He's miles back, Prasanna. He's never anywhere in terms of no ball. But let's have a look at this. Mendes getting in there. There's that wrong one again. Waste. He's not hit it at all, but hitting him outside the line. Even though it's hitting the stumps, but it's not here. As long as he's playing a shot, he's safe. Shahid Afridi. So it's been a waste. I did think it was outside the line initially, and I think the Sri Lankans a little too excited. And there we get the signal from the umpire. It's 72 for five. Well, no one really getting on with it. The top three getting starts. I'm able to get on. Sri Lanka going for the kill. Plus it's Malinga. He's been brought back and Shahid Afridi still to get off the mark. Anxious moments here. Gets the gap. That was in the slot. Shahid Afridi, he's not one to hold back. No, he sure isn't. And they're loving it there in the terraces. But, uh, I've got to say, it's a nice, uh, friendly, full one. With uh, Malinga starting another new spell. And a uh, nice little ripper through off stump. What he's looking for to be right up there. Not really quickly on to five or three, and he had to come in earlier than he expected because Umar Akmal totally deceived by Jivan Mendis. They need to build 200, 220. They got a good, good bowling attack. They got to bank them or back them. Quick single. Oh, direct hit would definitely would have had Miss Baulha. Come back to two though. Now the batters are applauding each other but uh, a little bit of panic stations in terms of uh, possible running here because he started there and a direct hit oh it would have been very tight very risky to take that given the match situation yeah he's made his ground got a good dive in his bowl huck slow ball dipping on shy up ready an expensive one Eight off it, 80 for five. Single off the first ball to Shaida Fridi. The phone box, Roshana Bissinger with Pakarun. Ras Lanel, thank you. Pakistan uh, in some trouble here at the moment. Sri Lanka have come back strongly. Mendes was superb, all couple of googlies. Uh, normally you talk about Pakistani batsmen, knowing the spinners pretty well. Had no clue which way that those couple of deliveries are going to turn. This is big. Very good use of the feet. And it's on the roof. No, in fact, it's in the crowd. But that's what Saeed Afridi can do. Now, can it be his day today? He is a big occasion player. And look at the use of his feet. Tossed up, down the wicket. Bang. He loves it. He just loves using his feet and getting to the pitch. And I have not seen many batsman doing it with such a control oh good comeback could have a run out chance there oh he's gone this boy's gone i guess that is unreal unbelievable it happened in the last over also nearly run out on this occasion he's gone miss bar but yes i agree with you uh waka because this is a big crowd noisy crowd they've been behind pakistan so there was every chance that afridi didn't hear the call and also, don't forget, he was beaten. He wasn't sure where the ball was. So there you are. So that was the end result. Ms. Baul Haq uh, completely outside the crease. This was the first one. Yeah, first of the third game. And again, he just sacrificed himself for Yunis Khan. And here, there was no sacrifice. He was running. And uh, he had passed the notice on return point. But that was a wicked Pakistan.